Let's get cracking. Hey guys, I'm your player Mad Mook right back here in Scum. It's been a very long time, well, not a very long time, but a few months since I've been playing this game, and it's getting very close to the 0.7 update. In fact, it's actually been updated today. And um, yeah, we got a couple new things, but big news. This is the last update before the 0.7 update. So it's gotta be right around the corner. The devs are working all manned on deck. So it's gonna be awesome. They're gonna get this update out to us eventually and it's gonna to totally change this game. I'm looking forward to that. Um, now I did say that this is the very last update. That doesn't include any bug fixes or hot fixes or anything like that. So of course we might still see those, but as far as content goes, we probably won't see any more updates. Currently the game is now 0.6.19.43 091. I've already created my character. I'll go over the stats once I'm in the game, but uh, I definitely want to look at some of the new things. So let's take a minute and take a look at all the new things that are in this update. And I might go over some new things that I have not seen since I have not played this game. All right, starting off with a major firecracker, the double bang firecracker. This thing is awesome. I can't wait to check it out. You know, firecrackers are always cool. Uh, I personally like firecrackers. And we got, we got some changes to the bicycle. The way it looks, the way the guy acts on the bike. And uh, that's all gonna be very cool because it, it has kind of looked a little different. It could be better. And I'm glad the devs are making it better. Also, we got the, uh, these new boxes that are going to be in bunkers and supposedly not all of them but some of them uh you gotta be specially skilled to get into these i don't know exactly what it is probably going to be a higher level lock picking um i'm really hoping that these aren't in the kill boxes but uh maybe they are we haven't seen any of them but uh, apparently they got some pretty good stuff in them uh and a new item called the pt 29 or the phoenix tears this thing here now there's not a whole lot of detail about it but apparently it is something very valuable in this game i'm guessing something kind of like maybe a um something that somebody else can revive you with or maybe you can revive yourself with it like if you had it in your inventory and you get gunned down by a mech and maybe you can use this instead of just dying you can use this so that's very cool this is a pt29 or phoenix tears kind of a cool name and also check out all these bark fixes there are there's just tons of them that is great always nice to see bug fixes another great thing is the compound bow the compound bow has been changed where the skins, the camouflage, the look of the bow uh, looks pretty cool. You guys have always had like the plain black one, but now you can have it camo to match your outfit. Now that's pretty cool. And also to go with that, you have the quiver that will match. We always had the camo, like the plain camo one, but now we have matching camo. That's going to be sweet for all our bow lovers, which uh, I kind of like the bow. Now, some of the quality of life fixes or QOL. Now, some of these are pretty good. They buffed the damage of the katana. Now, that's pretty cool. They nerfed the damage of the Bushman knife, which the Bushman knife has always been my favorite knife. That was like the best knife. That was always my go-to. They tweaked the bicycle camera, which would be cool. And there's a lot of other ones. So guys, without further ado, let's get into this game. Let's start all over and enjoy this game before the next update that's probably going to change this game dramatically. So let's get cracking. All right, where are we at? We are, it looks like we're near a bunker. Secure communication with human asset established. 
Greetings, human asset. Welcome to Scum Island tutorial protocol provided by the Tech One Corporation. My designation is Dual Energetic Entity Neural Appliance or DINA. I am an artificial intelligence created by the Tech One Corporation tasked with overseeing the Scum Show protocols, including the preparation of human assets. If you wish to activate the tutorial, please do so on your journal interface. Secure channel closed. Okay, well, that's good. I forgot that that was only coming up, but um, yeah, we are, looks like, let's look at the map. Where are we at? We are right here. Uh, just so everybody knows, this is a single player. Uh, I'm only playing single player. Um, I do play on Black Hat 302 server, but uh, I haven't done it in a while and I don't want to just jump in there and try to make all kinds of havoc or get killed or something crazy like that. So nope, uh, we're just going to be playing online. Now after the update, now things will probably change. But for now, we're playing on, we're playing single player. We're right over here in Bravo 4. Looks like we're just down from what appears to be a bunker. Which is kind of cool. But bunkers can be kind of tough when you're just starting out. So, of course, what we're going to do, we got better find a knife or make a stone knife, which we can do that easily enough. We got three stones right out there. Click crafting. And the very top one, no skill, stone knife. Let's craft it. There we go. And of course, you always have to remember to pick up your item, otherwise you forget it. And I know I've done that numerous times. All right, so the crafting uh, doesn't look anything, doesn't look any different to me so far. I don't see anything that's sticking out to me that I have not seen before. So that's always a good thing. And to go over my skills, um, so my strength, I got uh, medium archery, medium handgun. I'm not exactly, I can't remember what the CON was. I want to say conclusion, but I'm not positive what that is. Uh, correct me if I am wrong. I don't know exactly what it is. But for the CON, I have medium running and medium endurance. Dexterity. Got basic motorcycle skills. Medium driving skills, because that does make a difference, especially when you're driving. You're not hearing that like gear changing, grinding sound. So that's awesome. I like to be at least medium on driving. Stealth, I'm just basic on stealth. Not uh, nothing too crazy there. And uh, intelligence, we got uh, basic camouflage, medium engineering, basic medical, and basic survival. Now those, I just kind of randomly picked those. I didn't, I didn't really build on any idea or focus on anything specific. Now you guys might be looking at this menu and if you're not familiar with scum, it can be very, <laughs> very overwhelming and it, uh, and it can be, um, not only do you have to pay attention to food and water, you have to also pay attention to your colon and bladder. And uh, food is not your only problem in scum. You also have to worry about your proteins, your carbs, your fats, your fiber, your sugar, and your saturated fat. And of course, you don't want to drink too much alcohol because then you'll be all over the place. But uh, yeah, scum is definitely a crazy survival game. It's it's different than, than a lot of uh, games that you may be familiar with, but uh, it's very in-depth. All right, well, let's get back here. Now we know our skills, and uh, we got a knife, so we got to make a spear. So let's uh, go over here. We'll cut this down. It should give me some long sticks, and then from a long stick, we should have a spear. Let's cut that one down as well. If you guys are noticing, I have a watch. The watch is only available if you buy the supporter pack number one. Uh, I believe there's two supporter packs, but the watch comes with the support pack one. All right, there's a long stick. 
or press and hold the F key, and I'm gonna craft an improvised wooden spear. Now, if you see off to my left, just above my head of my guy on my screen, I'm feeling slightly chilly. That means it's getting a little cold out, and I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm feeling a little cold. So something that might be a little different is the spears have a different look to them, apparently. Here is an image of the recent update that brought new textures to the spear. Which you, you can kind of see it a little bit. <laughs> you can thrust with a spear, and of course you can throw it. I'm not going to throw it right now because it does do damage to the spear. Alright, so... I'm actually going to make another one of these. Awesome thing in Scum is you have your vicinity, which you just hit tab, and this is your vicinity up here. And, uh, of course, we're going to make another another spear right here. Press and hold F. And I want to... Is that a small stick? No, it's a long, long wooden stick. Oh, it's because... My bad. I don't have my knife in my hand. So if I take my knife in my hand, press and hold F, we can craft an improvised wooden spear. My bad. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this game. All right. So now, now we got two wooden spears. Oops. Is this a wooden spear or is that a stick? No, it's a stick. Let's throw this away. Wah! All right, so I don't know where that spear is. Right there it is. Throw it on my number two spot. This is my quick access location. I put the knife on number three spot. So that way I can access number three by pressing the key. And now we got a spear. Or a knife. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to try this. I have two spears. I have a knife. We're playing on a single player server, so I don't have to really worry about any other people playing and trying to kill me. So let's actually get inside this bunker. Now, of course, these big walkers, of course, they will kill you with just a shot or two. They will warn you before they shoot. They can hear pretty good, so want to keep that in mind. Another thing around these bunkers are bomb vest puppets. We just call them bomb puppets. Definitely don't want the mech seeing me. Different people call them mechs. Different people call them walkers. I call them mechs. Try to make my run in. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Doesn't that sound like... He would yell out freeze if he saw me. He didn't see me. He knows. He knows. Close that up. I keep hitting E. If you guys notice, I look kind of lean. I don't mean to do that. Alright, so obviously there is some puppets in here. Sounds pretty busy. Oh, yep, there's one. Oh, and it's a heavy guy. Oh yeah, got you right in the mouth. Make sure no buddies are coming. Oh, missed. Now, the spear is not the best thing to be fighting these guys with because the, the armored guys definitely take a lot of a lot of hits. All right, of course we can search this, but of course it takes a little while, and I have never really found anything good on a puppet, so I'm gonna leave that. Let's close this. I am crouched and I am bleeding on my left arm. 
So we have to take care of that. We don't have a bandage at this moment, so I'm not going to worry about it until I can find something. Gosh, find nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh. I might have to change the spawn rate because, yeah, there's nothing. Finding absolutely nothing. And this is single player, so of course there's not like somebody else came through here. If you notice, there is blood on my spear. That's pretty cool. Now, one thing with the spear is you cannot strike when you're crouched. So it's good to know that, good to remember that. If you notice, my left hand is no longer red and I'm no longer bleeding. That's because the injury was not bad enough where I just let, let it go and heal itself. Next time I get injured, I will show you the injury part. Wow, I cannot believe there's nothing. Nothing to find in this bunker so far. That sound you hear is the mech walking up on the surface. It's always been kind of a bummer that you can hear that. We don't have a whole lot of storage. I cannot believe there's nothing. I'm not finding anything. Got a water bottle. Which is always good because water is does kind of go quick. Looks like an armory here. Perfect. Hopefully we can find a gun. We got a military helmet. And uh, looks like the basic quiver. Military quiver. Which is just the uh, regular color, but it uh, does give us some space and we can put items in there other than, of course, you would think, arrows. But uh, you can put other items in there. That's awesome. Alright. This has got to be the saddest experience in a bunker. I've ex ever experienced, really. Absolutely nothing, not finding anything. I might go down that way. I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to find anything good. I'm really keeping an eye open for those new boxes that I talked about earlier. They're on the wall somewhere. Sounds like, yep, another big guy. Oh, let's go down here. Oh, he got me. And I'm bleeding. Oh, he got me again. Fighting more than one puppet. Oh, boy. Is, is challenging. Sounds like we're going to have another one here. This is not good. I'm bleeding heavily. Oh. Close, 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 close it. Woohoo. All right, we're bleeding heavily. Okay, let's look at our injury. Metabolism, it's flashing. So we want to click our health. So these are all our injuries. Now the C1 injuries will, will heal themselves. Not, unless you're really bad off, there's not really anything to worry about with your C1 injuries. You can use bandages on them, but in my case, I don't have any. Uh, C2 one, C2 one is a pretty bad one. That one, you're bleeding a lot more. And you're going to need to use a bandage, or it's going to take a lot longer to heal. So, so uh, that is a risky, risky thing. We're going to have to find some way of of getting a medical bandage or using cloth. I can use my shirt. I can cut that up, but if I do that, I lose the ability to carry anything in it. Puppet. Of course, it's a hard armored one. Right in the face. Down for a count. Oh, yeah. Right in the face again. 
And again. And again. Getting pretty good at that. Oh, yeah. Couple more hits and you're gonna die, buddy. He did. All right, we got a military helmet, a flare. Those flares are handy for distracting puppets. Always good to have a few of those around. I'm really disappointed in how I'm not finding anything. Hey, it's an M1911 magazine. I'm going to take that. I'm going to actually close this door back here. Especially in bunkers, you don't want to be leaving too many doors open because you will get overrun by puppets. Very easy to happen. Oh, missed. Got a good hit on me. All about timing. Of course, the ones without armor are a little bit quicker, but they they die a lot easier. All right, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to cut up my shirt, or actually, what I can do is cut up this shirt. It's an undershirt. Let's cut that into rags. We're going to use my stone knife to do that. Click treat, and then I'm going to click on this bleeding injury C2, and then I'm going to use a bandage, which this highlighted area is how much that bandage will take care of or cover. So let's uh, put on another one. There we go. Now it's all highlighted, so therefore these bandages will take care of this injury. Will at least stop it from bleeding and therefore your health won't stop dropping. There we go. So now it's just a normal bleeding injury. It's in stabilization. I'm no longer losing blood. I will not be dropping health anymore. I don't know exactly what's out this door. Oh, it's another exit. I see over there, there is a ladder. There's usually two entrances into a bunker. One in through the front gate, which we went through, or the one through the back, which we, you go up a ladder. Now the ladder can be a little difficult to get up because there's always a mech around that ladder. And you can only poke your head out so far without the mech seeing you. And, uh, yeah, he's usually pretty close, so he'll kill you pretty quickly. Yeah, I am not having any luck finding anything. No luck. Kind of a waste a little bit. Let's see, can I get through this door? No. All right, well, you know what? I, I think what I'm going to do is I am actually going to kind of run through here and hopefully find a weapon of some kind but there's a lot of stuff I want to get to in this game and I don't want to bore you guys through all this running through and searching as I'm not finding anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through here find it hopefully I find something if I do of course I'll bring you back to that but once I'm out of here I want to look at some of the new things that I missed there's a new motorcycle uh, I think there's a new weapon. I'm not sure on that, but I think there is. We're definitely going to be checking that out. So I'll be right back in just a minute. All right. So I'm actually going to work my way out of here. As you can see, I did get a M9 9mm pistol with one magazine. I do have a suppressor. I did find one of those, so that's great. Um, I have not put the suppressor on yet but uh, I will get that on there. I am actually laying down. I'm recovering right now. Um, as you can see on the left hand side, uh, uh, my health is going up. 
I was injured quite quite badly. I came into an area where I, there was a, there was like four puppets, and all I had were spears, and I nearly died. I actually closed them out and ran, <laughs> and then had to cut up my. Uh, um, I actually found a scarf, and I cut that up and and made that into bandages, and I survived that. Um, my water is a little low. My food's good. I did I did end up finding two MREs. I did eat them. I ate one, and I'm carrying the other. Um, just waiting for my health to get to 100%. I did find a uh, backpack. I think it's an assault backpack. I'll look at it here in a minute. I'm laying down. I Personally, I think you recover your health a lot faster when you're laying down. All right, let's get up. All right. All right, let's look at my inventory. Yes, I got the assault backpack. It's a green color. It's not too bad. At least it matches the military quiver, which is pretty cool. Um, I, go, I do still have the military helmet. Uh, one thing I do notice is the condition of items de go down very quickly. Um, I did end up messing around with some of the settings um, the spawn settings. Uh, I did change those so that way we find items because it's so boring to try and f go through a bunker and find ooh, find uh, nothing. You know, no weapons, no guns. It's very disappointing to come through a bunker, especially a bunker, and not find anything. So I did change the sp item spawn rate. Um, and if you guys want to know anything about that, let me know. Um, this is only a ser uh, on a single player, so of course uh, it's not a server. Um, so those settings are a little bit, a little bit different. But uh, yeah, all right, let's get out of here. Hey, it's an M16 magazine. I'll take that. Don't have an M16, but never can be, uh, never can be without an M16 magazine. Though. All right, so this is where we came in. I was going to go out the ladder way, but uh, unfortunately, I uh, I didn't uh, pay attention to where I was and forgot about that. All right, so I'm going to add this M9 suppressor. Cool thing with this M9 suppressor, it does work on a block as well. Block 21. All right, so he's going to walk that way. I'm going to wait for him to turn around and walk back, and then I'm booking it out of here. And then from there, from here, I'm thinking maybe going down to this, like, harbor city, maybe? Town? Hopefully we find some goodies down there. All right, he's walking. All right, let's go. Hopefully he doesn't hear me. Oh, there's no brakes in the fence. Oh, here's one. Oh, he saw me. Oh, shoot. And as long as we're getting away from him, he should be okay. And there he is. He's, his, his headlights are red. That indicates that he's alerted and he's stalking something, which he will not go out the fence. At least I haven't seen him go out the fence. So I, I should be safe. We did get the M9 pistol with a few rounds. I think I got 20 rounds or so. I am thirsty. I don't have any water. I did find water and I did drink it. There we go. Yeah. This a grave plant. This here, as long as you're not bleeding, this can be used as a bandage. And apparently you can eat it. Um, I don't know. I would. I don't. I don't, uh, I don't think I would eat it. But yeah, these are these work good for bandages as long as you're not bleeding. It won't stop your bleeding. I only think if you're bleeding, I only think you can use it. Now hopefully, we can find a vehicle. Ideally, it would be awesome to find a motorcycle. Now, I know the last time I played it, there were like dirt bikes, but apparently there's like a cleared that. Uh, a more like motorcycle type hog style Harley Davidson type looking thing uh, which is cool 
All right, we got a puppet that way. Looks like just one. Should be a piece of cake for one. Oh, there's another one somewhere. Yep, there he is. Fast runner. These guys are so fast. These ones right here. The real skinny ones. They move quick. Hey, it's a garage. Oh man, don't have nothing in it. No vehicle anyway. I will take the 22 caliber ammunition box. Definitely taking that. Some bolts, some yeast, a screwdriver. That's a cool thing to have. That'll help you get into locked cabinets. Hopefully we can find a police station. Now, of course, we're going to have to go find... Um, hoping maybe this harbor town will have a police station. That one or this one over here. So actually, I'm going to head down that way. Hopefully, we find something that's important to have, like a vehicle, along the way. But uh, until then, be right back. Well, let's look at the map. All right, so I went through here, didn't find anything. Didn't find a vehicle, didn't find a police station. So I went over here. Well, yeah, it was quite a long truck over here. I, I could have swim, swam over here, but uh, I'm pretty sure there's sharks in the water. I can't remember if they're in all the waters or, or what. But uh, I can definitely see there's a police station here. So we're definitely going to go in there. Uh, looks like there's plenty of areas to search in here. No, I'm only interested in the police station, really. All right, let's see. Can I get this guy? Let's see. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I don't know where you came from, mister. Or ma'am. Oh, miss. Oh, he got me. Oh, I'm bleeding slightly. Should be fine. Oh, yeah. She did. All right. Let's see. Throw that. <laughs> got his attention. Oh, let's uh, equip this. Taking hands. Taking hands. And... Miss one. Hit the other. All right, let's go. Let's go down here and check out this police station. Now, I do have a box of safety pins and only two screwdrivers. So I can go through a uh, locked, uh, locked cabinet, but um, being a locked cabinet, I, I don't have the greatest. Oh, hey, that's a 45 ACP rounds right there. Yes, 45 ACP, uh, just regular 45 ACP rounds. Lead plate. More lead plate and some scrap metal. Duct tape and some scrap metal. Hopefully finding a screwdriver, nails and bolts. Another bolt. I'm actually gonna check my metabolism, make sure. Yeah, I'm only got C1 injuries. They're healing themselves. Just let them grow. Alright, anything here? Uh what's that? Inventory. Oh, that's a fishing floater pack. That's right. There's fishing in the game. That's cool. Another screwdriver. That's perfect. And some wire cutters. We don't need those right now. Another screwdriver. That's three of them. We got quite a few screwdrivers now. And some duct tape, rubber band, and some padlock. More padlocks. We are playing single player, so we don't need to worry about making locks. That's one cool thing. More screwdrivers. That's perfect. And last box of safety pin. Actually, I'll craft that into a lockpick. All right, there we go. Always remember to pick up your item. I'm actually going to add that to my number three spot. So now I can quickly draw my weapon. Boom. Which we're going to need to have that. Now, I do have only one magazine. Uh, looks like we're clear in here. All right, we got a hat, some arm guards, rubber band, and a padlock. Hopefully we find something good in here. Some batteries, some more shotgun shells. I do have some. 
I'll just actually drop that one shell. It looks like a pile of them, but. Hey, what's this? Motorcycle jacket. Let's wear it. There we go. And we got some more space. Plus, we look kind of cool. It's a stat proof vest. I'm not, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to take that. All right. Oh, I'm wearing gloves. So let's take my gloves off. Take those off for a minute. That way I can lock pick a little bit easier. All right. So uh, you guys, you guys can see the instructions there on the screen. You use the mouse to move the lock pick and you use the F to push the screwdriver. It takes a minute to kind of learn this. Um, I'm probably not going to get it. I only have one lock pick. I can make more, but I only got one right now. I don't expect I'm going to get it. Hopefully I can, but basically just move your mouse around until you see the lock move and then just kind of fine tune it and bam. <laughs> your lock pick still breaks, but we got it. M84 stun grenade. I'm not going to take that. All right, let's actually get more. Take out a bobby pin from our safety pin box. Um, if I remember right, I think there's six total locked cabinets in a police station. So let's take out six bobby pins. Uh, craft lock pick. Craft another lock pick. I'm just going to do all six of these. All right. All right. Now we got all six of them. I'm going to take all but two. I'm just going to leave two on the ground. There we go. Now. All right. I got the hang of it again. Uh, don't look at the time because that just screws me up. At least it screws up my mind. There we go. And then I think there's one more up right, right there. I usually unlock all of them and then come back and search them. There we go. Oh, some slug shotgun ammunition box. Taking that. Some armor piercing 9mm rounds. Taking those. Uh, another stun grenade. Two stun grenades? Come on. Uh, let's take our... 9mm M9 out. Uh, more safety pins. Let's actually drop this one and take that one. So that way we have 20 of 20. You cannot fill a box. It'd be nice if you could. What's this? Oh, an MP5 suppressor. MP5 is my favorite. Alright, we got a Coke. I'll take that because I do need a drink. I don't think it gives you much water, but hey, it's liquid. go and then we can throw it <laughs> uh, i remember when you could throw a can and it would just like fly forever and now it just goes like maybe 10 feet 45 acp rounds uh oh got a riot vest guy he did what about in here huh anybody in the shower nobody in the bathroom or shower Got some soap, rubber band. Sounds like there might be a guy out here. Maybe outside. Maybe outside. I don't know where, where is he? There he is. He did. Raincoat bandit. There's some paper. Go upstairs. We got some lock boxes down there. I will come back to those. Got some more lock boxes right there. Yeah, there's a couple. There's at least one puppet in here. He dead. Oh, another one. Uh, yeah, she dead. And that looks like all there is up here. All right. Now, there might be a guy up on the roof, but uh, we'll find that out soon. All right, let's get these bad boys open. There we go. And this one. Very good. More shotgun shells. I'm not going to take those. Uh, Deagle 357 magazine. No, thank you. 
I'm dehydrated. Another backpack. You can carry backpacks, but then it's in your hand and you got to do something with it. I'll equip, equip those boots and drop these shoes. Drop them. Didn't mean to equip them. Okay, it's a hat. No, thank you. A new shirt. Let's actually equip that and drop this one. Now, the inmate shirt only has one pocket. Pretty much any other shirt has two pockets so good little tip for you guys a pair of shoes or a pair of a pair of shoes and some paper and some lucky star cigarettes no thank you all right some more containers your plugs my weapon is suppressed so we're fine with that that was a beanie by the way and some more boots. We're good on boots. Ooh, lime soda. I'm going to take that. We can fill it up with water. If we can find some fresh water somewhere. Just pour out the contents. And then you got 20 of 20 water. Alright, uh, doesn't look like there's anybody out here. Uh, I got another hat or cap. There is trash bins, but... That's a Block 21 magazine. We don't have a Block 21, but uh, at least we got a magazine for it. Now, we did check those locked cabinets, but we did not check these down here. Get these open real quick. We'll have to make another lock pick. I might not make this one. Oh, I lost it. All right, let's make two more lock picks. I got a bobby pin from our safety pin box. Here we go. Craft. All right. Craft lock pick. And craft lock pick. Here we go. Wow, that was incredibly easy. Oh, hey, we got some 50 AE Tracer ammunition. Also a key card for kill box. Not going to do a kill box. Not going to do it. Too difficult. It's too difficult on two player or multiplayer. Ah, uh, some flare cartridges. Man, didn't find anything really good in this one. All right, so I'm going to drop my box of safety pins. Take the new 20 of 20 safety pin box. And uh, head out. Hopefully we find a vehicle. Fingers crossed we find a vehicle, a working vehicle. Not that thing. All right, fingers crossed. I'm going to run around here. I'm dehydrated. If I find water, I will gather water. Um main thing is to find a vehicle find a vehicle <laughs> right so we're back and uh yeah i found this double barrel shotgun now it's it's an over under shotgun it's pretty cool never seen it before it's got to be one of the new weapons it is actually called a dt1 or dt11b so i wonder if b's for a double barrel pretty cool Awesome. Loaded up with two rounds of 12 gauge nightmares. And uh, nightmare. It's just buckshot. It's not called nightmare or anything. But uh, believe it or not, I found it in a school of all things. That's kind of strange. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool gun. I took that guy out. I, I was trying to hit my resume uh, record button before he got to me, but he got to me too quickly. So, uh, oh, hey, we got a garage. Let's actually come, let's make sure there's no other, oh, I hear a puppet. I hear one somewhere. You got a double barrel shotgun with your name on it. You want in there? You guys upstairs? Is this where the party is? No. Uh, 
on here, huh? Oh, I see your arm. You're over in the other one. Let's go take them out real quick. We gotta check this gun out. Hey, there's a pair of sneakers. High top shoes. Let's take out this puppet upstairs and then then I'll go check out that garage and then and then it'll probably be the that probably be it. I'm getting a little warm, probably because I'm wearing a mo motorcycle jacket. Uh, definitely would be warm. Alright, here we go. It's gotta be in here. Oh, hello. Oh yeah. She did. Nearly cut in half. <laughs> it's like there's a fishing pole in here. That's neat. Fishing rod. We'll take that. Where'd that go? That went... Oh, it's right there. Let's actually drop our spear. We don't really need that anymore. So we got a shotgun. We got a 9mm. I also picked up this thermometer. I don't know exactly what the thermometer would be for, other than, of course, it shows you the temperature, which is very cool. It's actually 80... About 80 degrees out here, or... Or almost 30 Celsius now. But uh, it's kind of cool. Gives you an idea what the temperature is. Let's see if it's hotter out in the sun. Oh yeah, a little bit. It's creeping up a little bit. That's pretty neat. Oh yeah. Oh wow, it's creeping up a lot. It's 100 degrees out here. Wow. No wonder my dude's hot. I'm out here wearing a jacket, a shirt, a scarf. Take the scarf off and the helmet. Actually, make some room for that helmet. And then, of course, I found this thing, the double bang firecracker. And I got some matches. Let's check that out. Let's take it in our hands. It's a big thing. wonder how loud this is. All right. Now, let's not throw it before we light it like a, like a, uh, we can examine. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wonder how, how do we, uh, we just throw it? No, it's just gonna throw it. Wonder if we gotta light it like on the ground or something. Like a normal firecracker. Like a firecracker set. There we go. Yeah, let's use. Alright, let's get away from it. Oh. Uh oh. It's called the puppets. Called them in. I saw them coming up. Yep, there's one. Looks like maybe, maybe two. Oh, that's a bomb puppet. Where the heck did he come from? Must be a gas station. Yep. Bet you that's a gas station over there. That's where he came from, little punk. All right, let's see. What's the range on this bad boy? Not good. Not good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Took him out with the partner. We got a couple more coming. Let's load that up. It's cool. It only drops out the empty shell. All right, we got two. Hmm. Gotcha. How about you, big boy? Right in the chest. <laughs> Oh, this is a cool shotgun. It's probably more for skeet shooting, but we're using it for puppet killing. Oh, got another one. Gotcha. Let's see what's in this gas station. Oh, that firecracker was pretty cool. Loud. All right, definitely can get some gas here. Don't have any reason to have a place to get gas. What's this? Oh, it's a Hunter 85. What's condition on that? Oh, that's 25%. We don't have any weapon cleaning kits, so of course, you know, it's kind of tough to take a weapon at that condition. Got a raincoat. I'm already hot enough. Don't need a raincoat. All right, I'm going to leave the Hunter 85. Let's move out. Oh, we got to get back to, uh, I don't know. I don't know where that uh, garage was. I'm, I probably just leave it alone. But, you know, I think we, you know, we checked out some of the new stuff, which was pretty cool. I like the thermometer. Let's see if the temperature's changed at all. 
Oh yeah, it's creeping up over a hundred degrees. Pretty warm, and I'm feeling slightly warm. No wonder. It's almost a hundred degrees out here. I like the shotgun. It's pretty cool. Kind of over under shotgun. I don't know where that garage was. I lost it. I think. But yeah, this is a, I love this game. I love getting back into this game, trying to figure everything out kind of all over again. And, uh, you know, we started out with that bunker, which, um, for a bunker, as far as a bunker stands, is this the garage I was at? I think it is. Yeah, I, th I think it is. Probably nothing in there. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's the new, like, uh, chopper or not chop. Well, it's chopper, but, uh, cruiser i think what what's the condition Ooh, 69 there's a trucker jacket in here also an axe uh it's got some gas and it's got almost full battery that's awesome we're taking that we're gonna definitely have to check that out now we got some bolts some wire cutters nails wire cutter uh padlock we don't really need anything else and uh you know, I'm gonna take. I'm not. I'm gonna. Does this have an inventory? It does. It's gotta. Yes. It does have inventory. That's cool. Let's actually throw a, some of our stuff in here. Definitely the uh, stuff we don't use. Um, well, I'll probably keep that shotgun shells. But man, this is pretty cool. Throw a thermo thermometer in there. It takes up a little bit more room. These magazines I don't have a gun for. No sense carrying those. And what's this? Oh, it's a hunter suppressor. Man, probably go back and get that hunter suppressor or hunter that I left behind. And we got a box of 22 rounds. That's probably what we're going to do. We got to probably go get some gas. Fill this bad boy up. Look at that. This thing is awesome. <laughs> Oops, hit the wrong button. Get back on. Get back on the hog. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, this sounds awesome. Oops, I stalled it. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Pretty cool. Maybe first person doesn't work very well with it, but... Yeah, this is pretty cool. Actually, there we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, it's red. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's get back and try to get some gas. My motorcycle skill is only basic. So that's probably why it stalls and kind of sounds bad, I'm guessing. Oh man, can I even get over here? Don't go in the water. Oh no. Oh no, get off it. Get the shotgun out. I'm stuck. That's a fishing pole, shotgun. Boom. I wonder if you can fire both rounds at the same time. Wouldn't that be something? No. Nope, just one at a time. That'd be cool if I had an like, alternate fire and it would just blast all the rounds. All right, I'm kind of stuck here, unfortunately, I think, maybe. Let's see, can I jump? Oh, no. Oh, no. Rest. <laughs> and hopefully, maybe, I'll be out. Yeah. All right, cool. We're out of here. Let's see. Can we get on this side and not get stuck anymore? get out of first person it's too close there we go whoa ah oh let's get some gas oh my god oh no oh no oh shit <laughs> oh man are you kidding oh no get out of the water i can't believe i just lost my bike Man, it does. 
Oh. Well, it blew up. I didn't expect it to blow up like that. But hey, what a great end to this video. Oh, man, I can't believe we got that motorcycle. That was very cool. I think it's called a cruiser or chopper. I don't know exactly what it's called in the game, but I'm pretty sure it's cruiser. But, uh, yeah, we got to check out some of the new stuff, uh, that big firecracker. Um, that was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, of course, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button. I will be right back here in this game when 0 0.7 hits. I don't know. Let me know. If you always want me to play this a little bit more, I will definitely be doing it. It's so fun. I enjoy this game so much. And, uh, you know, I stopped for a while, but, man, I got the sickness. I got to play this game some more. Um, I have no clue when the 0 0.7 is coming. Of course, nobody does. But, uh, yeah, guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. You're going to want to be here for the 0 0.7. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.